so deep in the snow that when they dig you out in a thousand years, they'll think you're Doofus Erectus from the Ice Age. Here's your drink, sweetie. You're gonna wear out that old video trying to cool down. Mom, are you crazy? Why are you dressed like that? The guy in the weather said it's 40 degrees in the shade before his microphone melted. It's a thermal suit. In theory, it should keep the heat out and the coolness in. Well, uh, how's it working? Not very well. I feel like a steamed cabbage. Ah, that's better. Mom, I need more juice. What'd you do with the one I just brought you? Pour it on your head? Uh, no. And while you're up, check up on your goldfish. The poor thing must be miserable from the heat. <laughs> and Mom thought you might need cooling down. Once again, she has no idea who she's up against. That's because while you and your relatives were grooming each other for fleas and ticks in the trees, I learned to master my environment. My first director set. Your mom had it hidden in the back of the hallway closet. Did you eat the small pots thinking they were candy? Hey, I was only five. Anyone could make the same mistake. Wait a minute. I see a lot of missing parts. You built something else, didn't you? What is it? Where'd you hide it? Oh, please. Do you think I have my mind set on world domination in this heat? Yeah, well, I'm taking the box with me, just in case you get any funny ideas. <laughs> Don't you know, Beanie, that the best place to hide something is in plain sight? And once I've turned myself invisible with my despectrumizer, you won't be able to find me either. Your old director set. Where did all the pieces go? Oh, Beanie, not again. Open your mouth. Mom, come on. I, I was only five. Am I ever going to live this down? I managed to get the last two left. Cool. The Technoman Underwater Adventure Scuba Gear. Let's try them out in the tub. Hmm. Let's set this thing at maximum power. I want to be completely invisible. Now you see me, now you don't. Why is it taking so long? Maybe I forgot to adjust it. Oh, right, where did the room go? supposed to do anything? It looked a lot more fun in the TV ad. Well, I'm going home. Catch you later. Sounds like somebody's up to no good again. Did it work? I don't feel invisible. Oh, good. The mirror. Success! The world won't see what hit it. Yes! But first, I'm going to have a little fun with that simple-minded orangutan. Admiral Bubbles, what did you do? What a mess! Ooh, what's this? Why are your baseball and cap floating mysteriously through the air? What's gotten into you? Is it really me, Beanie? Are you hearing my disembodied voice, or are your eyes deceiving you? How can you tell where I really am? Am I this way? Or that way? Oh my, that was spooky, wasn't it? Better watch out, Beanie. Who can tell what could be coming your way? Next! Oh dear. I'm not really invisible, am I? Are you still reading in bed, Beanie? It's very late, lights out. Will do, Mom! As soon as my goldfish stops with his half-baked schemes that make him shine like a nuclear firefly. Well, do you think I like glowing like a beacon? I can probably be seen from outer space. I'm taking you to the vet tomorrow. He'll know what to do. Great. 
You're turning my bedroom into a starlight ballroom. Try to get some sleep. Oh, this is perfect. I see green even when I close my eyes. Not again. Oh, I should have known. What is it? Is it serious? The gerbils chewed through my stethoscope again. Two of them got out of their cage a month ago, and now there's hundreds of them. I'll keep your goldfish for observation. He doesn't look contagious, and it'll probably clear up over the weekend. Doc, you can't leave him unattended. He's an evil mastermind. He'll turn your answering machine into a ballistic missile and blow up the town. That's cute. You're gonna miss your pet goldfish. Lollipop? Oh, please, don't patronize me. At least keep his cage locked up at all times. The fate of the world depends on it. Uh, can I have that lollipop after all? Who's the big bad fishy? You are, yes indeed. We're going to put you right next to Fifi so she can keep you company. I guess I'd be pretty mad too if I was named Fifi. So I'm not contagious, hmm? Well, Dr. Dander, there are enough viruses here for me to create an epidemic of biblical proportions. I only need to find a way to break out of this prison. My lucky star must be shining down on me. <laughs> Which is more than I can say about this town, once they've had a taste of my own special brand of medicine. And already it's scorching hot. No relief in sight as this heat wave will be with us for at least another week. And if you have a pool, hey, <laughs> I'll be your best friend. <laughs> hmm. We'll practically be relatives when I'm done. Let's see. A dash of whooping cough, a pinch of cat scratch fever, and the special ingredient, me. I need this virus to be aggressive. Something that'll give it bite. Oh, Fifi, be a good girl and cough into this test tube for me. Fine, we can do this the hard way. Heal! I said heal! Bad dog! Make me get angry! Now cough! Cough my face! Good doggy. Success! My new virus will take over any human it infects. About time I fixed evolution's biggest mistake. Don't worry, Mrs. Meyer. Your kitty cat Fluffy will feel better in no time. And here comes my guinea pig. I thought I closed your cage. We wouldn't want you jaywalking all over town or whatever horrible crime a tiny goldfish like you is capable of. Uh, well, well. Yeah. Uh, Krill breath. <laughs> huh. I feel a little strange. Must be coming down with something. We'd like a refund, please. What's the matter with it, kid? On the box, it says it should provide hours of fun. We barely got five minutes out of it. Plus, the mouthpiece tastes like a sweaty running shoe. Sorry, no refund. <gasps> Excuse me, do you have any fish tanks in my size? Hey, Dr. Dander, how's my goldfish? Your uh, what? Whoa, are you all right, mister? You're turning into a fish. I feel a little short of breath. Need water. What's gotten into him? I'll bet my goldfish has something to do with this. I think we should pay him a visit at the vet's office. Of course, the goldfish. I should have known. <laughs> Perfect. By tomorrow, half the town will be infected with my virus and rushing for the nearest puddle of water. I hope Beanie knows how to dog paddle. <laughs> oh, 
Come on, the coast is clear. Lost and found pets. I know this guy who sold a homing pigeon to this other guy, then kept returning it for the reward every time it flew home. Now will you believe everything I've been saying all this time? The proof is right here! Wow, your goldfish is really a hazardous waste technician. Who would have thought? Where'd he come from? Where's Admiral Bubbles? How many of you are there, anyway? Wait! You're the one who should be answering questions. Where's that goldfish of yours? You're in for a disappointment. Take my word for it. That goldfish is going to make us rich once we sell it to the Canadian Army and they figure out what makes it contagious. They can make soldiers with gills to look for submarines in Lake Winnipeg. Um, Lake Winnipeg is landlocked? Yeah. Well, they could be flying submarines. Where's that goldfish? Please, don't take my goldfish, Fifi. Never try to outsmart a security guard, kid. We don't get a two-day training seminar for nothing. I feel like Santa Claus on Christmas Eve. The only difference being that today, even naughty children get a present. <gasps> oh, look. Good old reliable postal service. From anywhere to anyone. <laughs> well, this is fun and all, but at this rate, I'll never be done. I need to think bigger. Eureka! Hmm, this will help me spread my good cheer. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Admiral Bubbles must have come through here. Now what? You go right, and I'll go left. Just remember, if you find him, treat him with extreme caution! How the heck do you treat a goldfish with extreme caution? Use tweezers? Look at all these people suffering under the crushing sun. Let me cool you down. I gotta cut him off! Gone fishing, huh? Well, be careful there, Spot. You might catch something else. Oh! Mind if I hitch a ride? You're probably going my way. Back home! Sorry, I can't be carrying dead weight. Do you know what you'll do to my fuel economy? A mad drive through the city? This is such a movie cliché. You are so predictable. Well, then surely you know what's going to happen next. Huh? <laughs> Yuck! No! What happened? Ugh, he got me. I I'm turning... I can feel it. Just promise me that you'll feed me every day and clean out my fishbowl once a week, okay? Clean out your what? Uh, getting fainter, short of breath, uh, becoming strangely attracted to castles. Uh, I... Actually, I feel fine. Your gills are gone. How come you didn't turn into a fish like everyone else? Maybe I've got cootie antibodies? I know how to find out. He 
You were right. Look. The virus is fighting itself. I must have received too big a dose. Anyone getting over-infected returns to normal. We can use your saliva sample to make an antidote. Bean was right all along. It is better to give than to receive. All those opposed to Proposition 19 to flood the downtown in order to make it livable for those with gills? Nay! Nay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passed. The water's already rising. The city's going to be flooded, and they're the ones doing all the work. Huh? School crossing? Oh, go on, hurry it up. I haven't got all day. I think we should get out soon. All done. This stuff is super concentrated, so we should have enough to treat the entire town. Uh, what's the number for the military? Covert operations aren't listed under Army, dummy. Look under C. For secret forces, you ignoramus. Oh, right. Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> What's with all the ice? I'll catch pneumonia in here. Oh, great. I've been captured by Dumber and Dumbest. What's the matter with it? We can't get top dollars if it's sick. <sighs> These two would make excellent bottom feeders in my new marine kingdom. <laughs> Looks like someone found a way to beat my virus. I'll have to find something a little more hard-hitting. We'll never get the antidote to the entire city. We need a better way. Uh, Beanie, do you think there could be sea monsters around here? Don't be silly. Sea monsters can't live in fresh water. Don't tell me. Tell the sea monster. Do kids wait at least an hour after lunch before going into the water? Ah! Watch out for the monster! Play tag, Beanie. You're it. Yeah, hang ten, dude. Can't keep up as usual, Admiral Bubbles. Hose line. Hose line. Oh, 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 oh. oh, all strung up like a Christmas hat. Mind if I can? What happened? One of the security guards grabbed Admiral Bubbles. Well, let's get him back. Are you kidding? With those gills, they, they've got the advantage underwater. We need to level the playing field. If only we could spread the antidote throughout the city. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? The pumping station. All the city's running water starts from here.
<laughs> it's working! And the water level's dropping. People must have opened the manholes. It's about time. I feel like a frozen fish stick in here. Don't worry. There's a nice, warm, tiny fish bowl waiting for you at home. Mm -hmm. Not if I can help it. Excuse me if I don't put my fin in front of my mouth while I cough. It's a... Ha! <laughs> you caught a cold. The worst anyone can catch from you now is the sniffles. <laughs> I'm almost sorry to see the water draining away. It's gonna get hot again. Well, maybe we can find a compromise. And still no end in sight to the heat wave, but this time everyone can stay cool thanks to a brave young boy's initiative to keep the shopping mall flooded. The mall will be open late all summer long, so come by before it's drained for the Christmas shopping season. Hurry up, Beanie! I'm coming, Mom! What did I do now? Just in case you're still contagious. Oh, don't worry, though. The quarantine only lasts 40 days. Ha! You think I can't break out of here? Please, don't insult me. Could you at least leave a light on? It's dark in here. Hello? 